What's going on everybody? I bought Vampire yesterday. I've only put a few hours into the game, uh, maybe four or so, and to be honest, I like it so far. Everyone told me not to buy it, and they said it was a trash game, they said the graphics sucked, the fighting style sucked, they said the only thing that was good was the storyline. So I went off of just that. And I will show you guys what I agree on and what I disagree on, starting with graphics, uh, visuals, movement, that kind of thing, and then we'll get into combat, and we'll get into uh, some cool little features they've thrown into the game, like um, upgrading stats, and uh, there's a vampire mode you can go into where you can follow blood trails through the city, and even a little easter egg at the end for you guys. So, let's dive into this together, and let's see if you guys should buy this game, or if it just sucks. So we're starting out with storyline, the strong point of the game. First things first, we wake up in a shallow grave where presumably we died. I guess he doesn't know he's a vampire yet because in this scene he first encounters someone and he's asking for help and he hasn't figured it out yet. He has no idea he's a vampire until he steps into the sunlight and he finds out real quick that he can't die. Um, the storyline is probably the only selling point of this game so far. Everyone else said combat sucks and the other things were horrible, but they said the storyline is the only reason they bought it, and this kind of proves to you that it is a good reason to buy it. If you can deal with crappy combat that I'll show you in a minute here, then I think you'll enjoy this game. I can't wait to go back and finish the story and figure out what happens in the end. It definitely catches my interest, and it's actually really cool and enjoyable. Wait, this one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pete in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy to share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, give him an eve. That's impossible. So be it. Rational thinking only. So we've had our first feast and we found out that we can't kill ourselves. We can't die. We're vampires. It just doesn't work like that. Now it's time to see what some of the movement is like in actual gameplay. The meat and potatoes of the game. The thing that should make the game amazing. But as you'll see really quickly here, it's not as smooth as you would want it to be. This is a nightmare. I don't like this turning. I don't like the way the camera moves. What if we run at this guy? We punch him. Cut me. I mean, he's shooting. 
guys. I don't I don't like that at all. I didn't even make any noise. Is he even shooting a gun? Can I not die either? Oh well, there we go. Now I'm starting to take damage. Please stop! I mean you no harm! Oh, he's got a shotgun. Wow. Okay, let's just keep running. I don't think there's anything to find so far. I just don't like... On? Look at that. I don't like how... Uh, I don't know. It's just buggy looking. Really buggy looking. What do I, jump? No? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Ah, is that a weapon? Yeah, I got a machete. Press square to perform a melee attack. No. I can oh, myself. Ooh, that did not look good either. Oh. oh, that looks bad. Look at that. I'm just like switching frames. Like you're just we're missing frames of his movement. There's nothing there. I just kind of appear. Who are you? I don't know. R3 is a walk on enemies. Okay, so I'm feeling a bit of a Dark Souls vibe here. Sorry, but you okay, left me so no choice. We're hacking and slashing. So far, square is the only option. Looks like circle something. Circle looks like a dodge, like a uh, Dark Souls deal. I think X was dodge and Dark Souls. Anything back here? My mighty machete. I wonder what that other bar is. Stamina. Dark Souls. Who are you? Stupid beast! Which, by the way, it is dodge, okay. By the way, I hate Dark Souls. I not like it at all. Alright, so our dodging is very... I didn't even dodge that one. Let's see if we can... Oh, is he blocking? Is that a thing? No, maybe not. <laughs> that looked like a block. Okay. An ugly dodge. So the combat style so far is not impressive at all. It's definitely not a selling point in this game. But luckily we have this cool vampire mode where you can actually see blood trails on the ground and you can follow them throughout the city to your destination, to your next checkpoint, all that uh, objective stuff. You can actually see heartbeats through the wall which is really cool too it's a very useful feature when trying to hunt down um, people to feast on later on and to get xp from that on top of that though you have shadow jump it's like it's not actually called shadow jump but you can move from lower point to high ledge um, across waterways stuff like that and you can actually use shadow movement in combat which makes combat a lot more smooth a lot more fluent and it actually makes the combat a little bit more fun my head's spinning so mashing square isn't the only option we have in combat. Now we have triangle, which is a stun. And when you stun somebody, as you can see, I'm doing a little shadow jump side to side. But when you stun somebody, you can actually hit X and it lets you feast on them. And it fills up your blood meter. When you fill it up, you get your heavy vampire attack. It's like claws, you have a spear option, and you have a shadow option. Um, all of them do heavy damage, and they actually give you health back, which is really useful. So that adds a whole new feature to that. And when you go into vampire mode in the middle of combat it, and you look at an enemy, it actually puts a box over their head that shows you what type of enemy they are, uh, what level they are, and what their resistance is to certain kinds of attacks.
fiber of my being is a fire. So the last major feature of this game worth noting to you guys before buying or not buying are safe houses. Safe houses are the like most important part of the game. It's where you can sleep through the night. It's where you can upgrade your weapons. It's where you can upgrade your character. You can there's ammo boxes in the corner right here where I'm about to go, and you can fill up your uh, your revolver for unlimited amounts of times for free. And when you sit on the bed, you can upgrade your character. You have all these skill charts. You have attack. You have defense. Uh, I think you have. Uh, science, all sorts of different things you can do. And these attacks right here that I'm hovering over are Claw, Blood, Spear, and the last one is Shadow Mist. That's what it is. So when you feast on an enemy after stunning them, you build up your blood bar. When you build that blood bar up, you hit R1 and it lets you use one of these heavy attacks. Inside of each of these attacks, these skills, uh, inside of each individual skill, you can upgrade the skill itself to make it stronger. It upgrades, it unlocks the next skill, the next branch in that skill to make it level 2 and so on. Also inside of each um, safe house is a workbench. At the workbench you can craft um, uh, antidotes for sick patients, if they're fatigued, if they have certain diseases, stuff like that. You can be a good vampire. Uh, you can also sell things, you can upgrade weapons, stuff like that. And last but not least, you need to get health back somehow. You gotta feast. And the quickest and easiest thing to feast on is a rat. If you eat 10 rats, you get an achievement. Yes, you actually get an achievement for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this run through of Vampire, this quick review. If you guys want me to do more videos like this, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like or dislike, subscribe, comment of course, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks everybody.